What's up, YouTube? Studio T Reenacting here. Today we're going to be going over how to assemble your P08 web set for World War One reenacting your impressions as a British or uh, Canadian Sky British f forces soldier for World War One. Um, those of you might have guessed or might already know, this is the P08 web set. Um, and it's, it comes, you buy it brand new, it's probably going to come in its various pieces. And I remember when I first got mine, I was a little daunted by the, uh, the task of having to assemble all these pieces into a final product of, of the web gear. So hopefully this video helps you guys out, and let's get started. So, like any other piece of web gear, your main part is the belt. And before you do anything else, you want to adjust the belt to the size that you need so it'll fit you. And it's pretty simple how you do that. You just have this, this keeper here and this piece that you just you just slide. You just slide. That, that's all you do. And you adjust the belt so it'll fit you. Size it while you're wearing uh, your uniform and all that because the tunic and shirt and all that do add a bit of uh, bulk to you and the size is going to be a bit different than if you sized it while you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So once you size your belt, you're going to attach your bayonet scabbard or your, um, sorry, your bayonet frog, which will not, probably not have a scabbard in it. It's just going to be this piece here and then your frog for your e-tool handle, which just attaches together by a simple buckle uh, system in the back. So you're going to slide that on. And the only reason I have this pre-done is because this, uh, the frog is a very tight fit onto the belt and is a real pain in the ass to get on and off. So you get that on. I sit mine right, right in the middle of my left hand side ammo pouch. You're going to have this strap here, which attaches, which is sewn to the top and the bottom of the ammo pouch. You know, slip the belt right through there. You have your bayonet frog there. Attach the ammo pouch by putting these uh, clips onto the belt like so. And then you're gonna take, where are they? Here they are. You're gonna take these little tabs here, which have snaps on them. You're gonna take those, wrap them around the belt like that, and then around front, they snap on to these snaps right on the lower part of the ammo pouches. Boom, boom, there you go, there's the first ammo pouch with the bayonet frog and everything attached. So now you're going to go over to this side and do the next one. So we're going to flip this again, be a lot of that, now normally this would have been easier to feed this side through here to not have to deal with this buckle, but as you can see it can be done, it's just not the easiest way, so there, so now that's through there. Put that in, and for this double layer, I don't, some guys try to get both layers, I don't, I just go through one, because it's a lot easier, and in my experience it has not affected how well the pouch stays on the belt, so I just do it that way because it's easier. And slide that all the way to the front there, or so, about there. And we got... These two little guys go out and around and snap one, snap two, and there's that. So there you got the belt with the ammo pouches and bayonet frog on. So next, it, it doesn't necessarily matter what order you go in, the real 
what matters for order is that right there. You gotta get those done first before you can do anything else. It's all stuff going on the belt. So next, I'm gonna do the E-Tool head case right here. And that just has these two buckles here. You're gonna put it so this snap is facing out and these are gonna go backwards. So they're gonna go like that and then through. I'll show you what that looks like. It's literally you're just putting the strap through the, the buckle like you would anything else. But it's just doing it like reversed. There and there. Boom, there you go. There's that. Your canteen case. Again, you're gonna put it so this snap is facing outward. And before you can do that, you need to attach your uh, your straps, your load-bearing straps for the web gear. You're gonna get two of them. They should come with a, a buckle sitting in the middle. Uh, don't worry about where this is positioned. Just have it kind of in the middle of the strap and it's, so it's out of your way, but these are going to be for attaching your small pack later. And they're going to go out a diagonal, like so. Or, not diagonal, but cross. And then feed them through the strap. Now this is more, this is another aspect of this web gear that you're just going to have to kind of tinker with because it's going to fit you differently you know it, this is all gonna shape how and where this belt sits on you when you're wearing it so adjust your your suspenders and all that now to attach them to the ammo pouches flip that so you can see so keep in mind this is gonna go over your shoulder and down like that so now I'm gonna flip it so I have that facing correctly and it's another backward facing buckle, but you lace it just like you would any other strap through a buckle. It's just backwards facing. There you go, that's done. So that one's all set. Now we're gonna do it to the other one. Get that position, that's how we like it. Put it through. I think that's right. Nope. That's backwards. I apologize for the background noise. People are leaf blowing and things because it's a really nice day. So I don't blame them. That's why I'm out here doing this. So there. So those, those are those two done. Now we can put on the canteen case. So you're going to use the slack from your right side. So this is going to be your right side. This will be the slack from your suspender strap here. So your suspender strap slack from that. This is going to go through this one. So it hangs there. And then this strap that is attached to your ammo pouches, you're going to use that to attach the other one. There you go, there's the canteen done. And yeah, that's actually, that's it. Uh, and how you attach your small pack, you can, your small pack will have buckles on the sides as well as these straps on the back. These straps are for these buckles on your uh, load bearing straps. So at, when you're in battle order, proper battle order is your small pack on your back and you just put these straps through the buckles on the suspenders like so and then it just hangs like that. On the march this can be worn on your side like a haversack using the buckles on the side and for that you'd go to your left side with your bayonet and everything use the slack from this suspender 
and the other strap on your other ammo pouch. This is how I normally wear it because I can access things in my small pack a lot easier. I rarely ever wear it on my back just because I, it's, again, it's a lot harder to get anything like food that I keep in my small pack, so I just wear it like a haversack. And there, that's how that's done. There you go. So there, hope that was a helpful tutorial. And that's how you assemble your POA web set for your World War I British impression. Have a nice day. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.